Hey guys, what's going on? It's a Super Kamikaze here, and I didn't upload yesterday. If you watched my video before that, you'll know why. It's because my internet was broken, and it was getting fixed, so I didn't have any internet to upload video. But today, I got you a 62 kill blitz with a chem strike, and it was all using specials as well. And I only got three kills from the chem strike, so it's a lot of gun kills. So sit back, relax, enjoy the video, and. Then, I think the beginning's a nice, really quick streak, but then, anyways, guys, I'm going over whatever my favorite weapon is and my favorite map of the Call of Duty Ghost game. Now, first off, my favorite weapon, ooh, I don't know, it was the AK-12 in the beginning, that guy sucked, and it was the AK-12 in the beginning of the game, but I haven't used that in such a long time. I got, like, 1,100 kills with it, and then I stopped using it because I am like, God, I gotta use some different weapons, and... I don't know, the other weapons, I've started liking other weapons too now, instead of just thinking the AK-12 was a dominant beast. The MSBS sucked for me in the beginning of the game, but now it's an absolute monster, so I'm liking that. The Honey Bad just sucked for me in the beginning of the game, but now I really like that too, as you can see in this gameplay. And then, also, the SC-2010, I didn't like that, but I've got a couple chem strikes with that now. It's the gun I've got my most chem strikes with. And then... The SAA-05, I've always liked the gun, I just never used it that much. I'm starting to use it a bit more. But since I got a chem track with it, I'm trying to get chem tracks with every gun. So I stopped using it after I got that chem track for you guys, it's on my channel. And then there's also... What's the other assault rifle? The FAD. And the ARX. The ARX, I liked in the beginning of the game. But it's really weak now. I don't know, like... if there's Because there was a couple patches, I don't know if they weaken it or some shit. But it is very weak now. It... It literally takes like six bullets to kill people at medium range. It is horrible. It is not worth the 10 squad points. It, it used to feel really strong, but now that I use it, it is fucking shit. It's fucking whatever shit can be. It is an absolute atrocious weapon. I, I do not recommend using the ARX anymore. I used to recommend it, but now definitely not. If you're just looking to spend some squad points anywhere, then sure, go ahead, buy it, try it out for yourself, see what you guys think about it. But for it being 10 squad points, and being like the shittest assault rifle, I do not like it. It is very bad. It has no range. I think it's good at close range with like 3 bullet kills. But I think the AK-12 kills in 2 bullets, and Remington kills in 2 bullets at close range. So like, it's not even the best at close range. So I don't understand why it's so valuable. It's a pretty shit weapon. And then... I gotta say, out of those assault rifles, I haven't used the AK-12 in a while, so I can't say that's still my favorite weapon. Out of the guns I've been using lately, I really like the SC-2010, the Honey Badger, the SA-805, but I haven't used that lately, so I'm not gonna say that's my favorite. I'm probably gonna say... ooh... Honey Badger? I don't know, I've been using that a lot lately, but yeah, that's my probably favorite assault rifle. Sorry, assault rifle, but an SMG, Bison's pretty good, MTARX, oh my god, that thing is absolutely atrocious for me, and then I died on a 22 gun streak. Man, that sucked, 3 minutes, and it would have been a 3 minute chem strike, but that guy got me, I don't know what I was doing, I think I was looking at my laptop, just seeing how long it was taking, because I have a time on the Elgato, and that's why I had such poor reactions, because I was half not paying attention. Silly mistake. But then... Yeah, let's get right back into my favorite SMG. So I got, I've only used the Bison and the MTAR. I've used the Vepa a little bit. Wasn't very good online. I, well, I've only got like 8 kills with it, so I can't really judge it. But from the 8 kills I got, it didn't feel very powerful. But in bots, it's very good. And then... We also got the MTAR X. Really, really shit for me in the game. I don't know why. It's just absolutely atrocious. So Bison's probably going to be my most successful SMG I've used online. So I'm going to say that's probably my favorite SMG. And then we got LMGs. I've picked up the LSAT and I've gone to town with that thing. It is very good, I must say. Not as OP as the Black Ops 2 LSAT was because all the gun balance in this weapon, you die very fast. It's just basically how the guns handle is the biggest difference between weapons in this game. And I feel the LSAT handling is very easy, very not difficult to use at all. And here's some nice sound horning and just knew where he was on the radar. But yeah, so the Bison's, I mean, the LSAT's very easy to use. And that's also why I kind of like it, but I think I bought it for myself, but I haven't actually made a class for it. I've bought all the attachments for it and everything, I've got so many squad points to use. And then there's also, I've got, the M27 is the only LMG, other LMG I've used, I've used the chainsaw and bots, I think it's just fun to use. It's nothing I don't think I'd go to town with online, because of its accuracy at long range. 
And then the other one, I don't even know what the other one's called, but I've never used that one. And then the M27, yeah, it is very powerful. It's It's got literally no recoil. It just kills you. It's a laser. It kills you across the map. It's got a little bit of recoil. It's not like the LSAT from Black Ops 2. It literally, you can shoot a thousand bullets and not change where your aimer is on the screen. It has like side to side, a bit up and down if you just hold it. So sometimes you have to burst at a range, but overall, not that much recoil. Pretty damn strong balance. It doesn't really have a damage drop off, I don't feel. Like, it, it obviously does, but the ranges that I've been killing people at, um... I don't really have any drop damage drop off. Maybe one or two bullets, but nothing major that really affects the gunfights. And then, so the M27 definitely favorite LMG, but it could even be my favorite weapon right now because I've been using it so much. I have like a 6 KD with that thing. I'm not. I think it's a 5.06 KD. You have an amazing KD with that weapon. And then we got. The sniper rifles haven't used any. I've used them in bots. That's about it. I've got the shotguns. Out of the ones I've used, the pump action FP6, I think it's called, is my favorite shotgun. It doesn't tag, really. It one shots in close range. It's not like. I think the shotguns in this game were done very well. I think Infinity World really does do the shotguns better than Treyarch does. But usually they have inconsistencies. They tag close range, and then sometimes they don't. But this game, I feel like they got the consistency very, very nicely. Uh, it doesn't tag on its close range, unless, of course, you just have the edge of your aim and only a few pellets hit him. But if you're accurate, like me, and you're hitting your shotgun shots, they will die. And then... Yeah, the, that's probably my favorite shotgun. The MTS, I feel like it tags too much. And then there's the... What other ones are there? There's two other ones. The Bulldog, I really like that one. Didn't like it because I used it in Infected and it was absolutely horrible. Probably because I got throwing knives so much. I've only played like two games of Infected though. But yeah, you died of throwing knives, so I didn't really like it. But then when I used it online, it was pretty good, that weapon actually. It's It doesn't really tag, it's semi-automatic, it's got a nice fire rate. You can spam the shit out of that. And it is, but it, I, it's got a weird reload, I'm gonna say, you like, pull out the front barrel and pull a new barrel in, I don't understand that. But yeah, I feel the Bulldog could be up there with my favorite shotguns too. And it also has an extra bullet than the FP6. And then we've also got the other one, I don't know the other one is, I, I haven't used it. Oh, the Tac-12 actually, sorry, that thing sucks, it tags everything, I absolutely hate that weapon. Then we... Out of the... Brrr, I think I've gone over all the... Marksman Rifle, sorry. I've only used the MK-14, the IA-2, and the MR-28, and they all feel the same to me. There's not big much of a difference. Uh, they all feel exactly the same, so the, I don't really have a preference over the Marksman Rifles. But yeah, well, I couldn't really get into favorite maps this game. Strike Zone, after the Cam Strike blow up, definitely do not like it. I prefer the original Strike Zone. Uh, yeah, I really don't like this blown up version of the strike zone. It's very, brrr, let's say, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if it changes the map that much, but I just don't like it. I don't do very well on it. But yeah, so the chem strike, 22 gun streak, and died in three minutes. So you know, basically got the equivalent of seeing someone get a chem strike, and then I called the chem strike in. Got it from a care package, unfortunately. It's my first ever care package chem strike. So. You know, don't hate on me going, oh, you suck, you can't get real chem tracks. You can go, I have a couple chem track videos on my channel, and I will upload more. So, I can get chem tracks. it's just this video. I thought, you know, 62 kills are specials in Blitz, because Blitz can be a short game mode. Thought I'd upload it for you guys. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, if you enjoy my g content, and more Call of Duty Ghost content daily, every day. And I hope you guys did enjoy the video again. Tell me what your favorite weapon is down in the comment section below, and peace, Super Kamikaze, signing out.